Hey guys, Airsoft Elite here, <clears throat> and this is going to be painting my 416 here, my 416 AR1. Um, I know I said that I probably wasn't going to paint it when I bought it, I don't know, but I decided to paint it now, as you see my punch symbol in here, but I'm going to paint it tan with AR1 here, and... So yeah, it's basically, I'm going through the steps here before I paint it here. Showing you guys how to paint a rifle. Um, so you see the pieces here, my tools. And my red, this, my new red dot here. I will, I'm black. So that's just sitting here because that was on my gun. And then all the parts that were on my gun are back here. My uh, rail ladders and grip, my iron sights and stuff. So that's that. <clears throat> um, next thing I'm be doing here is painting it up. With I usually probably you should use <clears throat> the blue, you know, the blue painter's tape, whatever. But I use this stuff, the scotch tape, and it works pretty good. I painted my MP7. This is my MP7. Hold on a second. wasn't prepared for that. This is my MP7 here. Um, this is my paint job on this. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. You can see the AR one there. I just did this tan and brown. And to the camera, it doesn't look like it does in person. But you can see just one other little color. It's like tan. It's another tan like right here. You can't see it in the camera. But it's like more of a pale tan, I think. So I used, I spray painted it with my good tan, and then my pale tan ended brown. So it came out like this, and my puncture symbol. That's my Airsoft Elite symbol. Um, as you see there. So, this is what it's probably going to look like a lot. I'm going to get this out of the way. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm going to, you guys can stay tuned, and I'm going to get this thing taped up. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like taped up. Because I'm painting it the whole thing. Everything. So, give me a second. I guess. Um, taped. Um, I'll show you what I left taped and stuff in a second. What well, One thing I want to say first is... I got... There's a little hole in the top. I don't want to get the buffer tube in the inside. I don't want to get... But that's good. Um, I got the whole buffer tube taped up in the back of it because my wire routes the uh, battery wire routes to the buffer tube out so I shoved it back into the buffer tube and taped it because and then right here you can see I taped the trigger and then they're here to HK and it says 416 I taped just that and then I taped this here because I don't want to get the mag release thing because I've spray painted a rifle before and not taped that and it gets kind of uh, like sticky almost like it's harder to release your may and I don't want that again so um bottom right there I take two reels just two little reel pieces for some reason tip of the barrel is taped right there the may push is taped and then one right here that's all taped bottom of there I don't want to get inside there at all that's the tape and the things that'll be black I'm gonna leave this inside I'm gonna shut this while I'm painting so the inside's gonna stay the color and the rest is going to be tan with AR1, guys. And, yeah, that's pretty much that. I'm going to be painting this thing tomorrow, actually. So, not today. And in my garage, because it's winter outside right now where I live. And cold doesn't really work with spray paint. And so I'm going to have to heat the garage. But that's pretty much that for now. Um... Yeah, and so you guys stay tuned for the painting. I guess uh, this is the setup here. Um, I'm holding the camera right now, as you can see. Just showing you guys the setup. Uh, I'm having getting the garage heated right now. So I have this big, huge sheet here. See my three colors of spray paint, my uh, tape folder with some AR1 cutouts, and my folder with all my other AR1 or my digital cutouts. 
my Punisher symbol. But it's not set up my 416 and it's stock all taped up and it's ready to go. So you guys stay tuned and I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna put it on the camera mount so you guys can watch me painting this thing. So guys that was the first coat there and you saw that so it's pretty much the first coat so you guys stay tuned I'm gonna wait for it to dry wait about 20 20 minutes so okay stay. okay guys just got done with the uh, first and second coat and this is gonna be the third coat as of what I've um what I do with the first coat is just one layer the second coat I do a big couple layers and then all the third coat is like touch up coat okay guys so you can watch me do this coat You guys stay tuned for the final, oh that's the final coat on that side, you guys stay tuned for me turning the gun over and doing three coats on that side and then I'll do the AR one or the digital whatever, so you guys stay tuned, alright? Okay guys, thanks for staying tuned again, this is, I flipped the gun over now, this is coat one of the gun being flipped over, as you can see the gun's a little bit black yet, and um, I'll go over in the end part of this video. The, what kind of spray paint I use because I forgot in the beginning of this video so what kind of spray paint I use and how long, well, how long to shake it you shake it for two minutes nothing under two minutes you hear me and all that stuff after the video so you stay tuned until after the video I'm going to do record the first coat and a third coat of this side and then I'm going to record the AOR or the digital making and my polish symbol to finish, finishing touches so you guys watch not going to record the second coat this is the heavier one and then I'll do the third coat in a little bit so stay tuned guys guys this is the second side of the gun first and second coat done this is the third touch up coat and I'm going to be doing AOR or the digital cutouts next and my punisher symbols you guys stay
Okay guys, this is uh, the digital putting on, so you guys watch this. Hey guys, <clears throat> this is the final after the video. I know I didn't get very many, very much um, footage in of the AR1 spraying because my back, my camera was acting up a little bit. But here's the final final product with all my stuff back on it. I think it looks really, really, really cool. Um, is my AR1 here? Doesn't look like what it does in the camera. The camera makes it look a little different, but. That's right. The I think the ratio of black to camouflage is cool too. Black here, here, and here. Um, I'm gonna go over because I didn't in the beginning of the video, and I'm gonna do it now. This is the camo I use. This is Rust-Oleum. It's their camouflage ver version. It's like the non-reflective finish. All that. That's the, I. Use, that's what I use here. This is the two times ultra cover. This is my base tan and I spray the whole thing the bases with so you can see what it says there double cover and then this is the green as you can see I use the green here my finished product right there the Punisher that's my trademark that's my symbol the brown there is that color there and then you can see the green and the Punisher green is this and then the tan is the tan base so that's pretty much that um and also go over in between coats, wait for about 20 minutes if you didn't hear that, and shake your spray paint before you spray for two minutes, nothing under two minutes, and yeah, you can check out my finished results. I think it turned out really cool, pretty good. This is what I was talking about here with the good. Um, this is a great little thing. Thank you for watching this. Uh, rate comment and subscribe to me my channel and then one more thing to announce I am officially partners with or uh, teammates with Fiesta Channel 2 it's actually called Airsoft Elite 2 but the link to it after the channel but I am teammates with him so we make it a team this is our symbol here um, so it's just us two in the team so far and I'll talk about more about the team stuff later but so far it's just me and him I do a link to his channel and yeah check his channel out so you guys stay tuned um comment like and subscribe to me that'll be cool and this is how you paint out AR1 if i forgot anything i'll edit it into the video but i don't think i forgot anything so stay tuned guys here's stuff